Hello guys, welcome to the channel again. Today we're gonna be doing a little review and gameplay of this game, this new title, uh, Into the Pit. You can get this game with the game Xbox Game Pass, and you can play it on Xbox One, PC, Xbox Series S, and X. Uh, I'm gonna be showing you a little bit of the settings right here. Not really much. Just a couple changes that you can actually do, but not really too much. Okay, what else? Quality settings. You can change controller. There's not too much to do with the controllers actually. You have the languages right here. You can also purchase this title for I think it's $14.99. I'm gonna put the price in the video though. But you can play it for free with the game Xbox Game Pass, so that, I think that's pretty cool. So there's not too much in the options, and let's just start the game. As you see, I already have one slot started, so I'm just, I'm just gonna use the same, so I don't have to go through the, all the story and all that. So this is kind of like a, um, the concept is like a dark magic game. It looks kind of like very old graphics but it's actually the game root um, runs pretty smooth so I don't know if the owners just I mean the developers of the game tried to just make the game look like this like kind of old kind of doom and all the, all those games so the concept right here of the game um, you have to free this um, Villagers, uh, all of them are like trapped on these pets, and you need like these kind of rooms right here to like have access to different kind of pets. I've been playing the game for like about one hour, so I haven't like really go very far in the pits, but like I, the concept is kind of easy. So at the beginning, you're gonna be you're not gonna be able to like buy stuff or like get some spells and like another um items that you're gonna need in the future but you have to free the villagers first in order to do so so let's try to do that and like, i'm gonna show you a little bit more so right here i, I already made the like the ritual with some runes so i already have access to this pet which is the first and I'll be showing you, I'm gonna be explaining a little bit more once I'm doing the pit. So you gotta keep going um, deeper and deeper. Like this is just a depth phase one or something like that, depth one. So I have made it through the phase two only. So every time that you're gonna um, you um, finish one of these, um, what are they called? I forgot, one second. I'll show you in a second one. So, every time that you access to the uh, pit, you're gonna have this kind of item. So, you can choose which uh, kind of abilities you wanna have. They give you like some options. But some of them you require some level to use it. So, I actually haven't used all of them yet. Okay, so oh yeah, this is called the chambers. So every time that you finish a chamber, you're gonna have access to like get items and runes, stuff like that, so you can use it in the future. So in the first step that we are right now, we have to um, finish four of them in order to keep going deeper. But the thing is here is that every time that you die, if you die, you actually go back to the village and you have to do this again so you can go deeper again. Right here, I, I don't have access to go deeper just to the village because I I lost. So you gotta just like realize that you don't wanna die or otherwise you have to like come back. Maybe there's something in the future that you actually came like just keeping that in the dead phase two or three, but Right now, for me, I haven't been able to. Every time that I lost, they like send me back to the to the village. 
but maybe there's gonna be something in the future so you don't have to go all the way back but right now what I'm doing is trying not to die and I I'm gonna show you how to get like recovery and more um, like so you can recover more blood or energy and so you don't like easily die but let's the, the first actually death is kind of easy so let's do it but yeah the game um the graphics i think like looks kind of spooky and like dark but i think i like it personally i don't think i think the the concept adapt a lot with the history and actually actually the music too But yeah, the first step are kind of easy. You just gotta get you, when whenever those two lights are, you just gotta like uh, get the crane stones. But they're always protected by these little monsters right here. And some um, chambers you have to get like two or three. It's gonna depend on the chamber. So this one is just two. So let's go and get. It. But yeah, the game, I think the concept is kind of cool. I think it's cool. Um, I really like it. It's not like a game that I'm saying like it's going to be like an epic game. But for that price and actually if you can play for free for that with the Xbox Game Pass, I think that's that's nice. It doesn't have a line, online option or something like that. It's just like a game for like 2 gigabyte. And right now, myself, I am playing for um, in the Xbox with the Xbox Game Pass and the PC. Okay. Oh, this guy right here. So yeah, and now I'm gonna do the, um, destroy the Crayston right here. Holding A and. Yeah, the first uh, chamber is done, but you have to do four of them. So now they give me like a reward. Or you can upgrade a power, so let's upgrade... Um, what about persecution? And then you can use those spells for like the next chamber, which is this. So the green one, which is actually this, is the chambers of healing, healing I think, yeah. And this is the place that you can actually recover energy. Otherwise, if you lose very soon, you have to go back to the village again and restart over. So yeah, so as you see, I get some energy, healing, and actually I can destroy a crystal right here, so. But yeah, I don't want to like spoil the whole game, but I'm just trying to explain like the basics. Because this is just a beginning, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna be more stuff. You know, like I don't think it's gonna be all the game like that, the same concept. But let's see. Let's see how far I can get today. Okay, I don't. I didn't see the name of the chamber. Oh, Chamber of Embers. So I'm playing in a PC, but I'm, I'm using a Xbox controller. So I'm using RT and LT to like use the magic, but you can actually do both at the same time. So so you can kill the monsters faster. And the runes and the spells that you're like upgrading every time that you finish a chamber, that's gonna help too. To kill the monster faster and and also if you go back to the village uh, you're still having all the spells and like items that you have collected so that's a good thing but I think it's kind of annoying have to be going back to the village but in some point it makes the game more interesting because you don't want to lose so you don't really want to put attention and concentrate a lot take care of your energy I'm assuming also that it's gonna be um, something, there's gonna be something so you can collect more energy or like 
like have like 145, 150, something like that. Well, I'm not sure really. I want to make it to the depth three for at least in this little record. But yeah, this is the third chamber I think that we have done. Yeah, so now let's upgrade items, powers, so let's do this. Heroix. Okay, this is another chamber of renewal. So there's eight chambers at the beginning, but... Sometimes there's some... I don't know if actually you can play like eight of them, because I've been playing like randomly. But they're kind of easy, so you gotta get you gotta get used to it very fast in this game. These little things are called mold. Um, I'm gonna show you another way. I'm just gonna kill these monsters first. So you press X on the controller. You can see the status, runes, progress, journal, stuff like that, and you can see these elemental modes. <clears throat> I haven't used them yet. I think um, I don't even level one yet because I just started this, playing this, but um, pretty sure those modes are gonna activate some kind of spell or runes in the future as we going, as we keep going in the game. Yeah, we're gonna figure it out. Yeah, I, I don't want to make it like, this, like a whole review because I just started a game. It's more like a first impressions and gameplay. Okay, so we finished the fourth chamber, and now we're gonna we're able to go to the. Depth number two. I just want to make sure if I can go back to the chambers of he healing. But I think everything's closed right now. It's locked. Yeah. Completed. So it doesn't let me go. So right here you have the option to go uh, to the village which is something that you don't want because it says you can use this puddle to return to the village this will end your current dungeon run the powers will be removed but you will keep any loot you have found but you have to do the, the, the whole um the whole depth again so the, the number one so we're gonna go to uh dive deeper into the deep and this is the obsidian fortress step number two so there's a game tip right here. Certain powers add affliction effects to your attacks. This can slow your enemies, damage them. Oh, I couldn't read the whole thing. A ritual keeper. Yeah, I wanna figure out if there's something to like, um, stay on the depth and, or like not, just to not go back to the village all the time. Okay, so I think this is the chamber of healing. Renewal. The last thing was the green one, so maybe it's this one right here. So I'm gonna need that. Oh no, renewal. Cause yeah, if I don't have like enough energy, um now there's more chambers, so but actually we have to complete four. But like I want to have the complete energy, blood, embers, lost. Oh, here's a prisoner, because as you see, we can have um, like the task that we had to complete, and it says uh, uh, here in the task, activate four altars and dive deeper into the pit. We already complete that. You see that now rescue Billiger from the chamber of the lost. So let's try to see if that actually help us to like stay. Oh, but we 
didn't find a chamber of healing, so let's see how it goes. It's actually not that hard, you just gotta put attention and be concentrated. Yeah, that looks like a person right there. But there's no monsters, which makes everything easier. So, Lost Villager. I came down here because the Alderman said it will be safer. What a fool I am. Please remove the king's tool here and I can return to my work. Okay, good. So we finished this, now we have two tasks. So I think if we go back to the village, now we're gonna be able to talk with one of the stores because all of them were closed until we start um, freeing the, the villagers. Okay, one second here. So now, so we complete the task. Villagers rescue one of three from this dungeon. So we need two more. Okay, yeah. So let's keep going. Let's try to not to die. Chamber of Renewal. It's 3 4, so it's getting more, getting more harder. I'm assuming in the future it's gonna be like 10 or something. Maybe more than that. But yeah, it looks cool. Um, the, when I start, I was dying a lot because <laughs> I was not really used to the, the concept of the game. But I don't think it's really hard to be honest. If it's just a gigabyte, I don't I don't think that a game is actually gonna be very long. Oh. Uh oh. Oh yeah, right now so far I can use I can I, I haven't used another kind of spell. It's just like this magic that I'm shooting with the S, R T and L L T, but like it will be fun if actually I can do like kind of spell. Yeah, I've been trying to press bottoms here in the runes to see if I can actually use something or the modes. Oh, nope. I think it's just before the start of the engine. Okay, so we have one graystone. Yeah, I really want to find out in the video if I can actually stay in the depth in order, instead of coming back to the village a whole, all the way over there. Those guys are tough. Hard to kill. Oh, that, <laughs> that scared me a little bit. Oh, here we go. Yeah, it had like a shield or something. Made very tough. Those firemen are like kind of hard to. So like they can like hurt you from the distance. So we have 50. Oh, that was close. So if you're watching the video, guys, um, hit the button of subscribe. This is kind of like a new channel, so that would really help me to keep going up and making more content for you. Ok, 
Okay, let's see if I can find the other crane stone. We just need two more. Where is the light? Oh. Oh. Thirty four. Okay. One more, but we're very close to die. I really want to make it through the chamber of healing if it's possible. Okay, it's over there. Where are the monsters? I think they're kind of hidden or something like that. Maybe I already killed them. Let's figure it out. Oh, here they come. Oh. Yeah, I try to kill always the, the monster that can shoot. Those little zombies are kind of easy, but we made it. So we, I think we need one more we can complete it to the death number three oh no actually we need two more authors we need blood i don't think we're gonna make it with 27 ah three three k stones it's gonna be hard oh no 20 already Okay, I'm gonna make sure if I can get energy here You will sometimes replenish health when an enemy dies. Yeah, but I wanna use it. Just gotta be so careful. Maybe that's the whole um catch of the game. Like you gotta be so careful so you don't wanna go back to the village again, but this one is kind of tough with this little energy right now. Mode of Renewal. Spirits mode that can be used to refresh the selection of spells upgrade offered by Hours of Power. Nope. I still haven't figured out how to increase my energy other than the chamber of healing. Maybe that in the middle? No. Oh oh. Oh no! No, in the really danger. Oof. No, 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 no. 14. Someone is hurting me. Oh, it's this guy right here. Okay. I don't know if I'm gonna make it. No! Oh, I remember this stage. Fifteen, so I'm kind of like recovering some kind of energy. Gotta be so careful. Gotta kill the 
kill those guys over there. Good. Yeah, this is poison, so if you actually step on this, you're gonna lose, lose a lot of energy. So you just gotta be careful over there. All you and like just they did it. I was trying to look something with like recover energy or whatever, but nope. No, again, I'm die. I'm dead. I was going so fast. So yeah, this is the part I don't like right now. Like, you go back to the village. But now there's a new thing. It says the village grows stronger. So there's one that we can actually go have access. They just need, need, for this one you need nine villagers. villagers. So... The Obsidian Fortress, one of three. So maybe, maybe that's the... Okay, I think I get it now. I think it's gonna be like, like kind of like missions. So now if you finish the Obsidian Fortress, I think you go back to the village, but you can just restart another one. So it just depends how deep you go. But yeah, I think it's that's that's where the name is into the pit. So okay, let's find the store that we can actually have access. Oh good. So we have this run ready. Let's get. I don't know if I have actually money. Oh yeah. The money is this thing, the mode of gold. Rune of chaos, chaos, okay. Killing pool. You need to rescue more villagers, oh, okay. Oh, so maybe I need to record, rescue the first three villagers to me level one. Not really. Begin his journey into the pit with a small amount of modes of luck. Run of beginner's luck. Okay, run of miras or blood. So that's all. Nothing really relevant. Well, yeah, I'm gonna stop the uh, video right here, guys. This was just like a little quick review. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna keep playing this game. It's kind of fun. And once I get on another mission, in another level, I'm gonna maybe start another, another video. Thanks for watching the video. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more gaming content. I'm gonna do, be doing more live streaming as well. Okay, guys. Um, thanks for watching the video and peace.